what's up, Kempsey here and welcome to my newest tutorial. So, I haven't done a tutorial since probably one or two months, but um, I'm now back making some tutorials. And in this one I'm just going to be showing you what you could do with your 3D tags, your 3D object. Kind of be more creative because most of the actual backgrounds look all the time the same. It's just, you know, Cinema 4D render and then some stock images or flares and stuff in Photoshop. Um, I'm kind of bored of seeing those backgrounds so I'm just trying to give you some ideas to maybe just find out some other ways to just um, get a new style in your backgrounds or anything. So what I'm going to be starting with today is um, how to bring in a cut in a 3D object or 3D <clears throat> text. I just used my Cam to Designs text I actually have on my latest wallpaper you've seen before. Um, but yeah, I'm um, starting with that. We are just gonna be. I'm just gonna be uh, deleting that, and I'll just get the 3D text in here. Just going to make it a bit smaller, just like that. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be adding a drop shadow first, 077, just play around with that, how you like the drop shadow. There's no specific um, amount of drop shadow you have to have for this effect. It's mainly starting now. So just set up your 3D text how you want it, just render it out normally. You can also render it out with Rousey or with some other effects on and just do this cut. After that, I'm just going to be showing it with a normal 3D text, so I just run it up normally. And what you're going to be doing now is just rasterizing that layer style. So the, there's no, you can't edit the drop shadow anymore, and the picture is now like this. So go to the polygonal lasso tool and just yeah go from here to here or somewhere where you want to have the cut. I'm doing it like this. Now just make a layer we cut. Make sure you're on the 3D layer on the layer with the 3D text. Make a layer we cut, and now you can move around this one. So you see, it already looks cut or yeah, like there's a cut, but that's not looking really good. So we want to get a little. Mm, instant or yeah how you call it I would call it in the fact on it that there's one of those two pieces in, in the front of the other one if you know what I mean you will see when we're done with this so <clears throat> what you're gonna be doing now I'm just gonna be making a I'm just using the rectangular marquee tool and just making something like th this then use the brush tool on white um, make the size in about 130. Always depends on how big your document is. I'm going with 130. And make a new layer, don't forget that. It would be stupid if you would put it on the 3D text. But just make a new layer, like, mm, wait. Choose a soft brush, not a hard brush. It should be soft. And then just go from the top down here was a bit too much, I wouldn't go that far, just like this. So and now you just place it here on the one you want to have the glow on, so this one would be in the front of the other one. So like this. Now put in an overlay and just create a clipping mask between this layer and the one you want to be in front so this would be the right part of this which is that one create a clipping mask so it's on here so what you will do now is make it the same again choose the rectangular marquee tool make something like this choose the brush tool this time go with black 130 again I'm just doing it on the other side just like this and just 
rotate it on here like so that should be cool put it under this layer and create a clipping mask to that layer so you see there's kind of a shadow now here's the glow here's the shadow um, put the glow this one the white one on the right part put that one on 70% and the shadow keep it on 100% so and one of the last things you you will do with that one is just giving it a line where the glow starts at because that still looks unreal it looks like there's just a cut that's a bit glowing that's a bit shadowing um, looks like kind of rushed and we are just going to be changing the brush tool to a hard brush one pixel using the pen tool changing the color to white make a new layer put it on the top and just make one like this stroke the path brush OK delete path and now you will have a white line like this uh, I'm just duplicating it a bit um, until I got proper white line um, right. I'll put it on a smart object and I will just rotate it until it fits directly on this line there so that should be good it should fit perfectly with that line too much I think that one fits good yeah now it fits really good and now you just put the blend mode on overlay and you see there's there's like this the start of the glow <clears throat> so it's like an edge up on there. So now you just uh, use the polygonal lasso tool and you will cut off this edges of here. Alright. Um, rasterize the layer. Before, before cutting off that you have to rasterize the smart object, that layer, until it looks like this. So now it looks more real it looks pretty good in my eyes you got a glow on the other on one side which is on the front and you got the shadow on the other side which is kind of in the back you could also just change this by just uh, rotating it and now you would also have to change Put the shadow on the other side and put the glow on this side and then you pretty much got your um, the front view on the left side and the shadow on the right side so you can play around with that however you want just try it out you can also make more cuts in one object so you could for example just duplicate that So, get it on on here and make another cut. So you just use the polygonal lasso tool, go from here to here. Make sure you're now on the layer of the object you want to have the cut on, which is that one. Just make layer with a cut and you will have this one now. So you can just move this around. I'm, I'm going to be putting it a bit on the top. Wait, just like so. And uh, then just this one has to be on that one. This one has to be on that one. That's here. And this one. has to be on here on that one as well so just like this so you see you can put more cuts in one object 
don't put too many because then you probably can't read it anymore. But I think two or three cuts for an object of this size is good. I wouldn't put more than three at all. Maybe if you have a really long text or something, you could put five or six. Just try around with that. Um, and let your creativity, yeah, just get more creativity in the backgrounds again. Because nowadays, if you look at a background, it looks pretty similar to another one. So you will always find another version of the background you looked at, which is, I don't know, for me it's boring. Um, and yeah. But I hope this tutorial helped you out to just get some ideas. Maybe you can base some of your um, effects you use on backgrounds with that. I'm going to be making a lot more tutorials in the next upcoming weeks. So yeah, um, would be cool if it helped you out and if you enjoyed it, would be cool if you could like and comment it. And also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go and subscribe it. And um, yeah, that would be from me. I'm out. Peace.